Hey guys, it's Kraus and welcome back everybody to Train Mechanics Simulator 2017. It sounds boring, but it's super addictive, trust me, right? So anyhow, in the previous episode, we did make it to this electric train depot or roundhouse, and this is our first train. We did manage to find the broken parts, electric mount mounting brackets, and engine mountain. So which was it? Was here, right? Uh, was it this one? If I'm not mistaking myself, let me see your testing mode. Yes, this one over here and the little things over here. So what are we going to do? We're going to disassemble them and repair them. And this is going to be our first electric train. Bam. You be gone. And now this little thing here. Let me just get into it. And let's see here. That should be how many screws? Eight. And bam. Perfect. So now I'm just thinking, let me see here. It's over here. I wonder if you can have like multiply trains here because there's like three tracks. That would be kind of cool, like having three jobs at the same time or something. But let me see here. Mechanical parts. This is the mechanical workbench. We can repair both parts. 100% successful rate. So yeah, that is what we're going to do. Repair and repair. I so want to get into the steam engines. You have no idea. And get the screws back in place. And bam. And then this one over here. And eight screws. Why is this so relaxing? I have no idea. And it should be done, right? Finish order. First train is rolling out. And there she goes. Income. 500 bucks. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. By the way, let me just see here. Improved workshop. We have 7,150 bucks. Which means I should put some more points here for the moment. Improve that. And 3,600. We could go into hydraulics and have three in each category. Or no. You know what? Let's save up for another wrench. What would the next job be? You may wonder. And uh, you may wonder for a little bit more. Because I just ran the wrong direction. Work order. We have three jobs in our disposal. We have an electric locomotive got stuck on the mountain pass. Oh, that, that is that is far away. It was towed to the workshop and requires repairs. Check the cause of the effect. All right, we don't have to go out for that. There's an electric locomotive on the route in square E1. Find a fault vehicle. I don't want to get out now. The driver has reported a failure of the control systems. Find the cause. You know what? We should start. We still, still want to. We still need to do every single one, right? So let's do this one over here. All right. So let's see here. The problem is a loss of compressed air. Check the tanks located in the vicinity of the vehicle's assigned points. Check. Uh, probably the compressor is also damaged. Check it, and if necessary, make repairs. How does even this look? Is it the same train as previously, but just orange? Maybe it is. It's not very pretty now, is it? By the way, has this option been here before? The V for body removal? I guess I'd rather play it like this because of the role-playing aspect, but uh, I've played for three episodes and I didn't know that. Anyhow, let's just see this. Uh, compressor. There's gonna be some engine part, right? So let's just see here. What do we have? From this side, brake system, no. Traction motor blowers, no. Traction converter, no. Water oil cooling system, no. I think we found it. It's gotta be this one, right? So go into testing mode. Faulty. Go into testing mode and faulty. And how? <laughs> how do we remove those then? Well, that, 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 well, easy enough. And, uh, compressors, is that a mechanic? Oh, crap. I'm going the wrong direction all the time. 100% successful rate on both pieces. Who am I to say no to that? Repair? And that's gonna give us the bonus as well, I think. But damn, this was... This was easy mode. Let's see here, it's on this side. Well, it doesn't really matter which side we approach it from. Uh, let's see here, engine. And get to it, please bear with me. Still learning the game, alright? Installation mode. Get this back to place and get this back to place. Work order? Pretty much completed, I think. No, it's not. Look at that. Probably the compressor is also damaged. Ha uh ha! -huh. I was about to sign finish order. So, where would my compressor be? 
There's the compressor. Found it. Let's just check it. Well, it's not faulty now, is it? But it might not be this one. There might be more. There might be some, some, some more. Of some other place. That is 96%. Is there any other piece here of it? Where does this pipe go? Shanty module? I guess we can check the whole frame over here, but there's nothing. Tube module cylinders? Well, the compressor was not damaged on this side, at least. Do we have any compressors on this side as well, or does that... No, it's not. There is no compressors about. Well, I guess we can... Disassemble that? Let me see. And then just install it? Maybe that says, alright, you fixed it? No. But it's not damaged. Well, 96% is not that bad now, is it? And there's no pieces around it either. Huh. I don't know, guys. Like, I mean, this is the only compressor I can find. I've checked absolutely everything on this box, and there's nothing wrong. And it still says the compressor is also damaged. Where would another compressor be hidden away? Like, I mean, it's not in the... Tr like, would they hide a compressor down here? I highly doubt that. There's batteries, batteries. There's no compressors about. This is no compressors to be seen. And the engine itself has been tested almost everywhere. Water and cooling systems. Traction converters. You know what? I don't care about the cash. I can't spend more time. This here is tested and it's not faulty. And that is the only one I found. Finish your... Yes. There's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing... There was something wrong with it, I guess. Ugh. Crap. Okay, that kind of sucked. I couldn't find it. I might just be blind. You know what? But uh, let's take the next job and see what that is all about. Just wasted so much time on that train. And I didn't even finish and didn't even get, it, get the bonus. Although, could we buy the range now? Nope, I'm missing 100 bucks. So, should we go out or should we just get this one as well? You know what? An electric locomotive gets stuck on mountain pass in the vicinity of square B1. The towed back uh, requires repairs. Check the cause of the effect. Except this one. It's the same train. It's hunting me. It appears the cause of the effect is defective transmissions. Check it, check, check, check. It's the same train. Transmissions. Is it down in mud truck? Drive gear. That looks pretty beat up. Let's do some testing on this guy. That is faulty. And how many pieces? Two pieces. Alright, so let's see here. Two pieces on that. So that is faulty over here. That looks beat up as well. But this is just a casing. Would that cause an issue? I don't think so. It might, though. Let's see this side. Well, this side looks quite pretty. There's nothing wrong with this drive gear, I think. Alright, let's get back get back to this one. Let's let's do some testing. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost money. So let's do some, do some testing. It's not this one. It's definitely not the motor cover. It might be just one of those, like the, 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 the mounting brackets. Nope, not a mounting bracket issue. Ha 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 Maybe what it is, it's broken on both sides. Who knows? That might be a case. Oh yeah, look at this. This looks pretty rough as well, but it's not. Yes, it is. Perfect. So we found the cause of the problem. Although this looks a lot different than... Uh, or does it? Maybe now. Than a diesel one. Disassembly mode. Remove this one. Remove this one. Easy enough. Easy steady goals. And the same on this side here on the front. So remove this little thingy. 
and the drive gear itself. Now let's see here. We have two pieces and I'm going the wrong direction again. I'm so used to the diesel workshop. Uh, there we go. A mechanical. A repair. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is only 66% chance. I don't dare to do that. I could sell those pieces. Yes. Sell this drive gear. Yes. And then, for the tablet, buy some new ones. Uh, not here, though. And let me see here. Mechanical parts. Drive gear, drive gear. One and two. And please purchase that. Yes, sorry. There we go. That should be pretty much it. So first of all, install this one over here. Installation mode. Drive gear. Bam. And then just this little tip shaft. And it's in place. Totally intact. Brand new. Brand spanking new. And same goes for this side. So first of all, drive gear in place. And the little thingy here. And it's done. Let me see here. Drive gear, drive gear, and finish order. This was so much easier than the previous one. For reasons unknown. Why is my income zero? Was that just because I sold the pieces? That might have been the case. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. Because what we can do now is go to the improvements and get the better wrench. There we go. So now we have three in the range as well. And the final mission of those three was to drive out and get a train on the track. Stuck some about, right? Let me see here. Job number three. Yes, it is. In progress. So that means we're going out. And which way do we exactly go out? Is it this way? It is not. Is it in the middle? That is the key question. No, it's not. So I guess it's from this side. Should have figured that out with those guys. Exit garage? Yes. Mission. Find damaged locomotive in square E1 and bring it back to the workshop. Is this the same old stinky repair train? Well, sure is. Let me see here. E1. It's up somewhere about here well that is really close but is this is it in the same place as the the one in the previous mission at least what i've wished they would have a kind of electric repair train i don't judge okay but it would be kind of cool having a little bit of variation in the repair train department what is it what's up with the tracks There's even cows! Has it derailed? No, it has not, but slow down a little bit. And it is attached? Which pretty much means I could reverse it all the way back to base if wanted. It's a different color, and that is definitely a different train. Well, this feels weird. So here we go. Most likely the problem concerns the batteries in the locomotive. Check they are good and make necessary repairs. Check if the fuses are burnt. Alrighty then. And this is most definitely a new train. Yeah, I like this a lot better. So let's see here. Batteries, 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 batteries. Well, it's... I don't think it's this one, but this one here on this side, on the other hand, doesn't look that hard. So let's see here. Faulty, 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 and faulty. And can I just remove them like this? Yes, I can. So that is the first thing. We also need to check the fuses, I guess, as well, right? 
So first is first. Let's let's do a little repair job. Uh, oh, I'm going in the right direction as well. Electrical, electrical workbenches. 66% repair chance. Damn. I yeah, I don't I don't dare. Add to cart, add to cart, add add. Four to be precise. Please place the order. Bam and bam. There we go. So now what we could do is replace that to begin with and then check some fuses as well. Uh, installation mode? Oh, sorry, wrong button. Although, should I sell those parts? Because I do have those faulty batteries and I don't know. I'm not sure like if I need to sell them or not. Because let me see here. Yeah, I still have them. They don't gonna give me much money, but I guess we can sell them. But I'm, I'm more concerned that I'm gonna lose out on money on that. Maybe not, maybe not. And then we said fuses, right? So where would a fuse be? Okay, there's one fuse here which doesn't look hot, I think. Uh, dang it, it's so hard to see. Can I move? There we go. And then rotate the camera. Perfect. Let me see here. Installation mode. Let's get this fuse back. Yeah, see? This one here was faulty at least. So there's one fuse which is not intact. This one looks pretty beat up as well. Let's do some testing because we can. This one over here is faulty. That one over here is faulty. Is there any other one here which is, seems to be faulty? This one may be a little bit, but uh, yeah, it is. And the rest looks pretty intact. So, disassembly. This one here. And this one here. Am I right? Yes. And how do we... Can we repair those fuses? Electrical. Okay, so we can't do this one. This is the 25 ampere, uh, ampere fuse. 15 ampere and 20. We could repair those, but do we dare? No. 15, 25 and 30. So let's go to the tablet and let's see. Engine parts. Can we buy fuses here as well? Man, there's a lot of pieces. So 15, 25 and 30. That's, that's quite hefty prices for fuses. Thousand bucks. Oh man, there we go. And let's just get to it. Engine. Zip. Where is it? Here. Get down. Installation mode. And get those fuses back. Oh. Okay. I was like, oh man, which order do we place them in? And get this one as well. Select. Everything should be intact. 100%, 100%, and 100%. The question, Aldo, remains if I should just sell him. Let's do that and check the checklist. Bam, 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 and bada beam. Finish order. And there she goes. Yes, this is what I mean. Like, I don't get any income when I sell stuff. But does that add up to my, like, this? if I sell stuff, that does that give me money? I don't think it does. Huh. Alright, on the next one, let's not try to sell anything. And we're gonna see if we get any income from it. Work order. Number five. A damaged train has problem leaving the station near the depot. Help it to get to the workshop and make necessary repairs. Tow the damaged train that is located near your repair station. Where would it exactly be? Well, that is my repair station, but where is the train? That is my concern. I don't... Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see, there's nothing green on that side. Okay, I see it, I see it. Back it up a little bit. Can we do a switch job on this, Dad? Yes, we can. Perfect. Hopefully it's not derailed. Does it look derailed to you guys? Huh. Nope, it's not. Don't tell me it's the same train, is it? 
think at least what we've got here is different colors. And uh, obviously what we're going to do is go backwards. Honey, I'm home. So let's see here. It appears that the pantographs are damaged. Check what parts are damaged and make necessary repairs. Income, 500 bucks. One, two, three, four, and five pieces. And pantographs. Is it those up here? Pantographs? Let me see. Roof. Is you a pantograph? Well, it sure looks like one. Yes, it is. So, disassembly mode? Well, actually, testing mode. Faulty? Is this the frame also faulty? The spring, maybe? Yep, the spring is faulty. And that is intact. Let me see. Is there any other parts here? There's a little part over here which is called the panto pantograph tube number two. Which is faulty as well. And that is three parts, I believe, right? One, two, three. Yes, it is. And let's see this side as well. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So this... No, this one here is faulty. And uh, the pantograph tube one is faulty. And disassembly. What do we need to remove? This first. And that later on. And now... The same on this side. So this first. Oh, no. Look at that. That's different, though. Uh, okay, so... Let me see. To get to that, to get to that. So this goes away. That goes away. And then the her, the spring. Perfect. That should be our five pieces. Mechanical workbench. 66. Okay, that is 100. So let's repair that at least. 2% and 21. Where do we even buy that? Uh, slider, slider, slider. Two of those. One and two. And please do order them. Yes. And now let's see. Roof. And let's install. Well, well, look. Let's start on this one here. It's a little bit wonky because those trains on the roof especially. It's a little bit hard to, to maneuver. Where do we start? We start with the tube. There we go. And the slider. Perfect, that side is done. And now this, first is first, the spring was removed last on this one. Then the tube number dos. This one, and the slider. Bam. Checklist, bam, 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 and finish order. And there she goes. See, when I don't sell parts, I get an income for it. Which adds up to my account. Oh yeah, it does. Hydraulics workshop. We have free and free and free. So we should spend a point in that. I'm going to wait. Since we're going to be doing quite a few before we get into the Steam ones. What is the next one, I wonder? Ooh, we have six to eight. Job number six. We know the problem with one of the trains. Check the train's condition and make necessary repairs. Okay. We have a problem with a locomotive which stopped on the route. Okay. The traffic management center informed us about a train that has not arrived at its station of the destination. It was last seen in the vicinity of the desert areas. Find it and find out what happened. So those two, this one... And this one, is that the same train model? And this one is different. Let's start with this one, I guess. And then uh, this might be the final train. This is train number six in this episode. Uh, check the condition of the front pantograph and check the con of the rear pa We just did a pantograph mission. But uh, I take it, I take it. Condition, get up on the roof. Roof, there we go. So let's see here, pantograph. Well, condition. Is poor on this guy at least. And the spring. How many faulty parts? Three in total, which means two on that side. Oh, this might be tricky because there is a lot of rusty parts on this one. Okay, that pantograph is damaged and we have one, two and three pieces. Oh no, look at that. 
front and back. Ha ha. Well, I guess maybe this one. There we go. Is that it? Frame? Perfect. So, it is the frame on this one. Oh, that means a lot of stuff to disassemble. Just to get to this, we need to disassemble pretty much everything on this one. That tube. Oh, let me see here. What? Okay, first is this one. Tube number one. Tube number... No, it's not. Tube number four. Five. Three. Two. Spring. Okay, spring, no spring. What do we need to... Dis hmm, let me just see here. Spring. And then this one. Oh, man. That's going to be a pain to, to, to assemble again. Couldn't we remove the spring without removing that? Yes, we could. Is that the all parts? So, tube 5, spring, slider, and a frame. Let's see if we can manage to repair anything out of it. And we'll see where this takes us. Mechanical workbench. Tube number 1. No need to repair. Let's see here. This one is 100% repair chance. Yes, pretty please. There we go. That is repaired. And it's just a slider, which is... 66% repair chance. I do not dare. Tablet and do mechanical parts. Slider. Bam. Order. Yes. There we go. That should be all the parts we need for it. Get up on the roof. And installation mode. On this one, we're going to start with the spring. We just did one of those. We just did one of those. So we are pretty much professionals on this now. Are we? Well, you know what? Nah. Bam. And then what did we have? There we go. Tube number two. Like this. And then just this one over here. And the slider. Perfect. That should be it. Is it? I think it is. It's going to be worse here on the back because here we removed literally everything. So the frame goes in place. Tube number three. The spring can be mounted. Huh, what else is here? Zoop, oh, let me see here. Tube number five. Number four. Number two. And number one. And the slider. That should be pretty much it. Completed. Let me see here. Completed, completed. Finish order. And there she goes. Look how beautiful we did that. Bonus and 2k in the pocket. Everybody, that's going to conclude today's episode. How many trades did we repair? Six. And I just want to get into the Steam ones. I think what it is. It is 25. Why does, why does it zero out of 25 when we've done? It doesn't matter, doesn't matter. But I think it is, it's 75 missions. And I don't think we're going to do 75 missions. But at least we're going to do every single one in the Steam department until we get bored. But I think we need to do, what was it, 12? 12 electrical engines or trains. And then we move on to the, to the Steam ones, I think it is. That is how the diesel wor was, at least. Anyhow, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I like this workshop a lot. I can't wait to see Look at that! It's a little computer desk here as well to, to maneuver the little uh, crane arms or robots. That is that is neat. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very nice day. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Smash the like button if you did enjoy. Bye bye.